Jewish families quit their jobs, packed up their belongings, and fled for their lives. Many, even most, found there was nowhere to go. Nation after nation closed their borders. On the other side of the world, however, one nation opened its doors. More than a thousand people attended a rally in Manila saying that Hitler had violated the inherent right of every man to freedom, life, and the pursuit of happiness. And to newly elected President Manuel Quezon, it was not a question of whether his country would help, but why other nations did not. You are about to learn one of the biggest secrets in the history of the world. It's a secret that has huge effects for everyone who lives on this planet. I'm standing at one of the most special monuments in Israel that tells the story of how the Philippines saved over a thousand Jews. During the Holocaust, Jews fled Europe trying to save their lives from Nazi extermination and find a country that would accept them. In 1939, the Philippines opened its doors for Jewish families who were escaping Europe. Philippine President Manuel Cazon ordered to issue 10,000 visas for Jewish refugees, hoping that he will be able to rescue a large number of Jews. In the end, some 1,200 Jewish men, women and children were saved. The Filipino people are a very warm people. They're a very friendly people. Most of the Jewish refugees in Manila eventually moved to Israel after the war. This monument was built in order to honor the Philippine nation and its president. The Jewish people will never forget how the Philippines was willing to open its doors and save us during the Holocaust. We are forever thankful. The 1930s were a dark time in Europe. The Nazi party steadily moving toward the final solution of what they called their Jewish problem. Stormtroopers swept across Germany and Austria, burning synagogues, smashing and looting Jewish businesses. Jewish families quit their jobs, packed up their belongings and fled for their lives. Many, even most, found there was nowhere to go. Nation after nation closed their borders. On the other side of the world, however, one nation opened its doors. More than a thousand people attended a rally in Manila saying that Hitler had violated the inherent right of every man to freedom, life, and the pursuit of happiness. And to newly elected President Manuel Quezon, it was not a question of whether his country would help, but why other nations did not. Other countries perhaps did not think it that important. I, I don't presume to say. But I know that dad had the moral courage to do it because he believed in the sanctity of human life and the right of people to live life as they believe they should. President Quezon showed the highest cards when he said simply, it's the right thing to do. In the end, a deal made over poker, bourbon, and cigars would mean escape for over 1,300 European Jews. Most Filipinos are familiar with Schindler's List. Very few Filipinos know that uh, Quezon was in his own way a kind of Schindler. Saying that the Filipinos would be glad that when the time of need came, their country was willing to extend a hand of welcome Quezon opened his country, and even a portion of Marikina, his private estate, to the desperate refugees. In the second mail, we got an announcement, a letter that said you've been accepted for a position in the Philippines. We went to the Philippines because it was the only place that gave us a visa. We were the last train out of Berlin. They, they closed the border. We were able to go to the Philippines and escape that at that time, we were really free. Manuel Quezon died before his country was liberated, but the link to Jewish freedom was not forgotten. In 1947, the Philippines was the only country in Asia
to vote for the partitioning of Palestine, leading to the creation of the State of Israel. In a memorial park outside Tel Aviv, the Open Doors Monument stands in mute testimony to the Philippines, a nation that stood firm on the basic principle of shared humanity, battling hatred with the simple weapon of an open heart. Hereby solemnly swear that I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill my duty as President of the Philippines. Filipinos. They are the sweetest, most kind people. They're so welcoming, so receptive. Um, they're always willing to help other people around them. And they're always giving you food. There's some sort of snack or full-on meal if they can. <laughs> they just, they love to help other people. They're so generous. Even though they have so little, when they have, they give what they have to give to other people. And they're just so concerned about you. And they're so cute. They're so friendly and really embracing the culture that's there. The Philippine culture is, is a really cool thing. My favorite part of Philippine culture, I'd have to say, is their attitudes toward life. They're just so fun-loving and they're very laid back and very mellow. I don't know how to describe it. I guess you could say it's kind of a, a Hakuna Matata kind of a attitude. Very happy people um, and I love that. So, so cool to get to know the side of the culture, that side of the people people that fun loving laid back attitude even when things get tough they don't complain about it they don't whine about it they just try to enjoy life and I think that's so cool you know part of that attitude I think it rubbed off on me out there and that made the work really fun when you're even when you're having a hard day I learned that there are blessings to focus on and there are good things every day to celebrate that's one thing that I took away from the Philippine culture if there's anything I've learned from the Filipino people, it's uh, friendliness. They're really friendly. <laughs> really friendly. Everyone says hi. Everyone greets you. They're smiling all the time. So yeah, just um, learn how to be friendly because the Filipino people are friendly. The culture, um, they are some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Uh, they don't, they're not really frugal people, but they do like to have fun in all aspects of their life. And so you have a party every once in a while. One of the main things that they have, especially in this in rural areas, I'm sure in, in uh, metropol metropolitan areas as well, is uh, Vigioki, which is basically the karaoke. They call it Vigioki. And they'll do it to all hours of the night. And they all party, they love that, they enjoy it. It's fun. I, I enjoy it. Like, people having fun, enjoying each other as a family. They'll get the whole neighborhood involved. Very nice people um it's part of their culture but honestly i think for a lot of them it's just part of their being as well you have every once in a while you feel like oh they're just doing it because it's culturally accepted but for the most part especially the filipino men if they're good men they're good men you know very genuine very sweet the women i mean not to defend my gender or <laughs> you know on my side of the, but i have to advocate their their side of the story the women in the philippines are some of the best women i've ever met in my life very sweet but they're very genuine very nurturing very you know womanly and it's, it's not a bad thing at all. I think it's very beautiful and the way they love their womanhood. Um, they can be sassy, but it, that's good, you know? They can be, that's good to have, have a little sass. If they're too bland, it kind of ruins everything, you know? I like to have a little spice in, in your soup. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're, they are very loyal. I think to type five women, I just say they were loyal. And Filipino women. I loved it. The culture is beautiful. I, I really miss it, honestly. Filipino culture is very, very laid back. Um, they're very chill people, I guess you could say. And they're very, very kind people. Um, very charitable. Very Americanized. They love American culture. They love our sports. They love our music and clothing, our style. But they also do have, you know, their own rich tradition that they, they don't lose track of. They still love their own music. They have their own dance styles. Um, it's very it's fun to see their, their traditions, their culture. Today's Christmas was fun over there. It's different. Um, on Christmas, I only spent one Christmas in the Philippines. But it was cool just to see people and they're also happy. You know, there's just something different about that day. Everyone's happy. Um, New Year's was crazy. I've never seen so many fireworks in my life. Couldn't even hear yourself speak. They're just constant, pretty intense. The Filipinos and their culture, I, I love the, the culture in the Philippines. The, the first thing everyone says, and it's true, is that they are a happy people. They smile, they know how to laugh, they know how to um, keep pushing on 
through without, you know, just complaining. That's something I love about the Filipinos is their ability to laugh and to smile. It's unlike any, any other people I know. They can just smile no matter what situation they're in. Another thing I love is they're very, just a very welcoming people. Um, they treat you, you know, you could, uh, something that's nice about the Philippines is you don't have to tract in the sand streets and you can just talk to people. You can say, how's your day? How's your family? And just start conversations with someone you don't know. And it seems like after a minute, you can feel like you've been friends for a long time. They just are very open. Um, you can ask them things, you know, that people would think you're crazy in America. You can know someone for a minute and ask how many kids they have and what their kids are doing and where they live, who their mom is and who their dad is and what they like and or wh what they do in life, you know. You can get to know someone um, very quickly and it's awesome. You know, here in America, sometimes I wish that we were more open just saying, hey, what's up? Who are you? Where are you from? What do you like to do? Um, unfortunately, we, we don't do that quite as much here, but in the Philippines, you really can talk with anyone and I love that. They're just a welcoming people. I really love that the Filipinos are so giving.